Hi, I'm Jack Nissen. Uh, I, this is my biographical sketch. I'll be flashing up a few photos a little while later, but first, let's go for some information. Who are you, what your major is, and what your background? Um, I am a 23-year-old first-year grad student. Um, uh, my undergrad was in journalism with a concentration in environmental journalism. And background, I guess we would say I grew up in Saline, Michigan, which is a little bit south of Ann Arbor. If you point to the uh, the part of De where everyone says Detroit is, they're from Detroit. I'm from Ann Arbor, which is essentially the same area. Why am I taking this course? I heard a couple of good things about the uh, course curriculum from a professor named Bruno Takahashi. He is also my advisor. Um, but also, I mean, beyond just fitting the requirements, it gets me out of the J school, which is nice to kind of, you know, gain a bit more of an eclectic idea about what kind of information I could be covering or learning in college. What do you hope to get out of this course? <laughs> Probably a background in anything that could help me understand the world more and in, you know, adding on to that. Uh, report on it better. So if this one is risk conservation and crime, and I'm an environmental reporter, those two things mesh well together. Plus, I took a fisheries and wildlife course freshman year, and I really liked it. And seeing how this is in conjunction with the criminal justice program, I'm seeing quite a few different uh, ideas kind of blending together that could really help me kind of better understand the way bigger systems mold together and, you know, work together, I suppose. What are some of the topics you hope will cover this semester? Um, so I saw one that was about uh, environmental crimes and eco-terrorism. I thought that was really interesting. And while I've always found that to be a very sensationalized headline in the news, I've also found that to be really interesting and in that you don't see it a whole lot, which is maybe why it gets a lot of news coverage when it does happen on a bigger scale. What kind of things do you like to do in your spare time? Um, I'm a big backpacker. I've been to quite a few places in Michigan and a couple places around the country. So. Canyonland National Park, Grand Canyon National Park, Glacier National Park. Um, if you really need to go see the Tetons, uh, as well as a few other places in, um, in Wyoming and Colorado. But uh, I'd say my favorite part might have actually been um, Isle Royal. Uh, that was really neat. And I also took about a week trip hiking to Machu Picchu from the mountains that kind of surround Cusco. So a little bit of Peru as well. Uh, as well as that, I'm trying to get into photography. I'm using my new camera right now and hopefully with uh, more skills using a camera, I can better show everyone else um, the cool things I like to do. Yeah. Um, I guess just for a little bit more of a visual element, um, here are some photos that uh, can give you a little bit of an idea about me, I suppose. Um, the first one, this is me gazing down on Machu Picchu from Mount Juano Picchu, which is sort of an added hike onto the already sort of strenuous, I think it was 80 kilometers walking to the um, Incan civilization city, which is super cool. Next one's with me and my girlfriend. This is actually at Canyonland National Park. Um, this was done, I want to say, a couple months ago, uh, at the end of May. Um, these are my parents, uh, Todd and Kelly. Um, none of our Michigan natives, but I'd say that we've both lived in Michigan for quite a while. I also used to be the mascot for the uh, Lansing, City of Lansing Public Service Department. Um, his name is Swish the Fish, and he promotes clean water. You might have seen him around, and if so, I might have actually been in the mascot. Um, this is, these are my siblings, this is Tom and Edie. Tom goes to Central Michigan and Edie goes to Eastern Michigan. And then the last one is, I'd say my casual LinkedIn photograph. Um, my dad says I'm showing a little too much chest hair, so I might have to get that switched, but for right now, I think I'm okay with it. Thanks.